hot, hot button issue right now. Let, let me give you the, the key deadline date. Uh, we opened on uh, June 4. October 1. October 1 is the current opt out date. In other words, if someone elects to opt out of this program and pursue their own claim, you know, individually or through the court, uh, the through the regular judicial system, they have to do that before October 1. Now, what's that to ask me? One of you asked me earlier when we were standing there in the corner. You did. You know, she knows what I know. There's some discussion that, that, that's going on about whether they're going to extend that opt-out date or not. I, I don't want to speak definitively about that because it takes a court order to do that. But there's some discussion going on to extend that date a relatively short period of time, maybe something like 30 days, just to give people just an opportunity. And I'm all right with that. Uh, uh, you know, to evaluate the situation of what it certainly gives me more time, you know, get all these determinations, the letters out as many as I can. Uh, but October 1 is the next big day. The next key date is November 8. November 8 is the uh, fairness hearing. You know, I'm wondering whether, the, I'm, I'm wondering when the hell we're going to hold this thing up. Superdome may be small with this damn thing. Uh, but that's a critical date because that's a sign-off date by a court that activates you know, the finality of the settlement. <clears throat> the next critical date, uh, I'm going to give it to you in terms of kind of a, a little moving target, but it's the cutoff date for filing of the seafood, seafood claim. It, it goes from the date of the finality of the judgment, I think it was 30 that's days. Right, 30 days after. 30 days after. So, you know, I don't want to tell you that it's going to be November 8th to 30 days after. That may slack. You normally you'll see a court in this circumstance take the matter under advisement because it's got to be a written opinion issued. So, but if you if you were just looking in the theoretical world, that's why I told you earlier, uh, my educated prediction that'll probably be in uh, probably in January. But if you ask me officially, I'd say it's 30 days after the date the judge signs that order. Okay, that's the next critical date. Then there's a push out date. Uh, and that push-out date is April 22, 2014. And that's the final date for the filing of, you know, all these myriad of other claims we're talking about. Now that date's far out. That has a lot to do with statute of limitations. They have extended that period to make sure. So, you know, from my perspective, I know, I know, I mean, the, the overwhelming bulk of the claims should come in way before then. I mean, way before then. Be There's no reason why not. But I know that I can't. I can't take that pencil and put a big X on it. I get past, you know, that day. Uh, those are the big critical uh, dates. There's other. The other day that I didn't mention. Oh, I, mean, I should address this a little bit. There's a date for filing objections. The thirty first. The thirty first, right? Of August. Of August. 31st of August, that if someone has an objection, not not to the individual uh, <laughs> allocation, of, because you know it, that isn't even going out yet, but if, to the overall settlement, the overall program, the totality of the settlement, that's got to be filed by the court by August 31. That that's another uh, critical thing. Uh, uh, the the other thing I thought that uh, you might be interested in. There are processes built into this system <coughs> where when we send these determination letters, there'd be a letter that comes out very can be very detailed, you know, tells what it is and what the basis of it is. And it tells people you, uh, you can accept that. If if you think somebody left something out or something, if there's a reconsideration period in there, if there's if there's an error in there. The other thing is if they said I don't like that. We have built into this system an appellate process. There have been judges appointed. I met with them Monday. They come from Florida, Alabama, Mississippi.
Mississippi and Louisiana are smelling of people who are serving a pellet roll. Their role, their role is to make sure if somebody appeals that the, the parameters of the settlement document will follow. That, that's the checkpoint. Okay? So an appellate process is built into this whole system, which I think is a, a, a due process. I think that's a good thing. It's a, it's a very healthy thing. <clears throat> but to show you why we're trying to make this process claimant friendly and, and as uh, uh, accessible as possible, normally you wouldn't start considering time for payment and so forth until you got an acceptance back. For instance, we send you a determination letter. You, you say, but you only got a thousand dollars. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you say, you know, uh, I, I, that's it. That, that's what it said. I agree. Then what they do is they activate and send the release back. They have the release form. Okay. And normally, normally what they do, they say because uh, uh, there's appellate rights put in there for the plaintiff as well as BP. Some it differs the short period of time. But even the maximum appellate rights make it where if someone accepts we can we can pay that claim within 30 days of the date the original notice went out. That was an important factor. I'm the one that backed that up. I said because if not, you could have a situation where it sent you the notice on, on August 1, and you accepted six days later. I mean, you, you told me you're going to accept. You signed the release, let's say, end of the 15th day, and I'm waiting for the 20 days or whatever it is. 50 days is the maximum period, like a BP to appeal. And then, and if you didn't start this date, you stated from when the date of acceptance, were well, you going out 45 or 60 days? So I said, no, we're going to do it from this date. The date that the letter went out, okay? The appellate rights that they expire, and that's what you would hope. Well, we know those are going to expire within 30 days. And so it makes it make sure that someone accepts, we've got to have the release back. You accept, send the release back, we're going to pay you within 30 days. Uh, that's a, that is generally not how it's done. Uh, that's kind of an accepted route. The object was, let's get this thing moving forward. So the whole object was to get uh, quicker in, quicker out, and so forth. Yet give people a, an appellate right if they so elect. Uh, that's kind of, in a general sense, uh, information I think that uh, people need to know. The, the program is designed not for delay. Remember some of the complaints?